Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the series of machine learning with scikit-learn. In this video we will be talking about a new topic in discussion that is clustering. Now clustering is one of the primary domain of machine learning like regression and classification and clustering also has some of the different algorithmic approaches for clustering it in a different senses. Now in this video we'll be talking about what is clustering. We'll be looking at the uh, implementation of k-means clustering and the different uh, clustering methods that we have followed by one of the example for the same. So let's get started. So the notebook is ready and uh, Clustering is one of the main domain of machine learning in which you the data is needed to be kept in a group of similar similar data functions. Now for an example, if you have a square and a circle given inside the data, you need to cluster the squares, all of them together and the, tri uh, the circles all together. Now once that is done, the clustering is an unsupervised learning mechanism in which the target variable is not given but the algorithm automatically processes and looks for the clusters that is present inside a data. So talking about one of the approaches given to clustering is simplest of k-means clustering. And including that, we have another approach for clustering, which is highly popular, is known as hierarchical clustering. Both of the approaches works perfect, close to perfect in most of the cases and the data that we have. So in today's class, we'll be looking at what is k-means clustering. Now, k-means clustering consists of two major words, k and means. Simply means that k is the number of clusters that we want to make followed by the means is the centroid or the mean of the distance from one or another now in the in the in the image we can see we have two clusters that is green and red and what all happened is the the location of this area and this area is known as the centroid of the two clusters from which that is the centroid for the given amount of clusters having the minimum you minimum distance of error and that provided that the k value for here will be two as two clusters are being required to make the number of clusters as the k value increases they can be divided into the similar thing so if i was having three as the value of k i'll be having three clusters rather than just two once that is done, the clusters in k-means clustering takes the examples of two distances method. One is the Manhattan distance and the second is known as the Euclidean distance. That can be specified by the time one is calling the library at the implementation. So let's get the example started and let's see. So we are trying to cluster the IL dataset and the good thing about this one is that in this instance we will not be telling the different types of iris which are available inside it so as we know the IL dataset is one of the classic datasets provided in scikit-learn and it simply means that we need to classify the three different types of iris flower which is given inside the dataset now usually what happened with supervised learning in classification was we were taking the y as the target variable in which the training data which we were providing was telling if an instance is having a specific value or indication it leads to a specific kind of output or the target but that practice is not applied in clustering since it is not a supervised learning algorithm now 
machine learning has three major classification of supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. And clustering comes in unsupervised, since no target is given to that. Now, as you can see, loading from the data sets the load iris one, we are just taking x value here. No y value in this one. So once that is done, now in this data we already know that we have to cluster into three different parts. But how for example if you are given a completely new data set how would you come to realize what is the optimal number of data set or the clusters are required for it that can be done using finding the num the perfect amount of clusters by something known as the elbow method now the elbow method gives us a steep curve after which once the within cluster squared sum is given now when we take the uh, increase the number of cluster with wcss we see a sudden fall and making an arrow like elbow like curve now what we have to do is that we have to select the path where the fall or the slope value is not that much as you can see in this area of the clusters from 0 to 2 we have a very downfall that cannot be taken as one by the time it goes to 2 the slope changes and you can see in between of both we can see at 3 it gets started with a normal curve so the optimal number of clusters that will be taking is the plane from which the slope becomes double that is 3 in this part so once we know how many clusters that we need to make we pass the num number of clusters as three once that is done all we have to do is to predict the fit value of x which has been completely trained on the given data since it's unsupervised and let's see the output which has been obtained voila so now we can see that we haven't actually clustered any of the different kind of outputs but we the computer automatically gave the three clusters and that is iris of three different types and the fourth one describes the centroid of those clusters in which the maximum value of that instance falls into now as you can see there was no X, Y value or the target value provided. And all we did was to have the data and call the number of clusters followed by the initialization, followed by the maximum number of iteration to refine the each clustering it takes and the N initial value followed by the random states of a given type. Once that is done, all we have to do is to predict the value of given x and plotting the same for the other one. So that was k means clustering. And that was one of the examples how one can cluster or use unsupervised learning in the same. So hoping to see you and looking forward for another class. Till then, take care.